angry parents vote, boy, do they. In a new Fox News poll about parents, what is being taught in schools is the second most important issue to them at 79% only second to inflation and higher prices. Moreover, voters are extremely concerned about what's being taught in schools, and they prefer the Republican candidate over the Democrat one by 70 percentage points in congressional races. Joining me now, Denisha Merriweather, American Federation for Children Senior Fellow and founder of Black Minds Matter. Denisha, good to see you. Does this come as a surprise how concerned parents are about what's being taught in schools, second to only inflation? Uh, absolutely not. You know, due to the pandemic, we saw a lot of parents get more involved in their child's education because schools were closed and parents were uh, left to sometimes educate their kids from home. And a lot of them believe across the country that the left is too focused on culture issues instead of actually teaching students how to read and do math. And so, no, it doesn't surprise me at all that this is one of the top issues that parents are focused on and they quite frankly deserve to take their tax dollars to go to whichever school that they want for their kids to attend because uh, oftentimes schools are not listening to parents and just teaching reading and math. Are you finding that that the, these schools still are not listening, particularly the teachers unions not listening? Yes, the teachers unions is, is not listening to parents and that is why parents are revolting across the country. We saw this upswell of parents in Virginia with the latest gubernatorial election. Parents stood up and said, no, we want to take action and our kids deserve a high quality education and they, they stood up. Um, they, they voted with their feet and so during this next election cycle, Parents should be listened to. Uh, candidates across the playing field, including rural Republicans, but yes, quite frankly, Democrats need to listen. And they should know that parents are going to vote for education freedom. Parents are going to vote for high quality education and vote that their kids actually be taught academic subjects. I want to get your reaction to this. The Minnesota State Report Card reveals that 92% of Minneapolis black students are not performing math at grade level. 80% of those students cannot read at grade level. One parent describing this as the Titanic has sunk. And to your uh, point, Denisha, this parent, um, his name's Rashad Turner, and he's asking schools to start posting data for math and reading proficiency online, calling it a game changer um, on Twitter. And this parent, he's the father of a teenage daughter. He founded a Black Lives Matter chapter in St. Paul, Minnesota, but he backtracked from the group a few years ago after seeing resistance, to your point, to charter schools. Yeah, Rashad, he actually attended one of my first events um, that we hosted, Black Minds Matter. Mm -hmm. The reason why I founded this organization is exactly what Rashad um, uh, is, is talking about, because I saw the dismal outcomes for black students in America and the lack of attention that the Black Lives Matter movement was given to it. And the reason why they can't focus on, the reason why they can't champion for education freedom, the thing that so many parents across the country wants is because they are receiving money from the teachers union. Mm -hmm. And so they cannot stand up for the empowerment of black people in America, true empowerment. And it starts with an education. When you have academic, such low academic outcomes, such as the one you just mentioned, mm -hmm. and the fact that 13% uh, of black people across the country, are re black students across the country, are reading on grade level, we have a problem. So in order for black lives to matter, black minds must matter. And I definitely salute Rashad in Minnesota because, yes, he stepped down after the Black Lives Matter chapter told him he could not focus on education freedom. How bizarre is that? That that is the one area that they say that they will not focus on, which is education freedom. Denisha, it was such a pleasure. Denisha Merriweather, I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you. Be well.